In the third category, equal amounts of money A are invested, paid or received at each time period for n number of time periods. n can be years or months. An interest rate is I. And the question asks you to calculate the future value of these payments, a single sum of money that is equivalent to all these series of payments A. Here, given information are A, N, and I, and F is the unknown parameter. These sets of problems can be displayed with the factor F slash A, or F over A. Again, the left side of the slash sign is the unknown parameter F, and the right side is the given variable, which is A. Here, you can see the equation to calculate F from A, I, and N. The mathematical proof of this equation is straightforward, and I explain it in the lesson 1. We can write this equation regarding the factor notation. F equals A multiply the factor. This factor is called uniform series compound amount factor, and it is used to calculate the future single sum F that is equivalent to uniform series of equal ends of period payments A. Let's work on an example to see how this factor can be used. Assume you save $4,000 per year and deposit it in, in the end of the year in an imaginary saving account or some other investment that gives you 6% uh, interest rate per year compounded annually for 20 years starting from year 1 to year 20. And you want to know how much money will you have in the end of the 20th year. First, we draw the timeline. Left hand side is the present time. We don't have anything there. Note that your investment starts from year 1 to year 20. If there is no extra information in the question and question says you're, you invest for 20 years, you need to assume your investment starts from year one. So there is no payment at present time or year zero. Right hand side is the future time, which is a single amount, future value and it is unknown. Your investment takes 20 years, so n equals 20. And above each year, you have to write $4,000 because you have a payment of $4,000 in the end of each year. So A equals $4,000, N number of years is 20, I interest rate 6%, and F needs to be calculated. And F equals A times the factor F over A. In this factor, I is 6%, N 20, and V use the equation to calculate the F. And we find the answer. So if you invest $4,000 per year for 20 years with 6% interest rate, you will have about $147,000 at the end of 20th year.